Okay, so we are going to remove the Brian Tooley Racing valve spring so we can lap the valve. Um, so, valve spring compressor. It's actually a billet, a nice one that I picked up. I've got a couple different kinds, but this one's actually the fastest uh, that I've uh, had the pleasure of using. So, you, I have ARP uh, valve spring studs in place. Uh, if you didn't have these studs, you would just use a uh, just a standard bolt that comes with this. You screw it in. So, like, the studs make it nice and quick. So I'm going to screw the stud bolt in place. And what you do is you place a rack underneath the valves uh, in the combustion chamber. That will prevent the valves from dropping. Uh, then all we use is just a standard socket wrench uh, to compress the valve springs. So what will happen is when you compress, you'll hear the keepers actually pop out. So you want to keep your hand over the keepers because the pressure from the valve spring can actually uh, spring those up and uh, you can lose them. So uh, if I have my little associate walker press on the back, pull the back side down, buddy, just push down on the back side, both hands. Just hold it down and I'm going to pop. All right? So you can see that's all it takes. And uh, we can release the uh, we can release the uh, conical spring. We'll put that over here. And here is the retainer. That's just a retainer uh, top of the spring. So now we can unscrew the uh, valve spring compressor. Take that off. And the keepers generally fall down. And that's in fact exactly what they did. So if you want to look at the keepers, uh, they're just a little conical shape, little keepers. So these are the things you don't want to lose. They they actually are quite easy to lose. So I'll do one more because there's no point in, in uh, doing a video of 16 of these. Uh, you kind of get the point. And then after this video, I'll show you a video of how we're going to lap the valves, which actually help uh, compression, help the sealing of the valves. And you can do that on your own without taking it to a machine shop. All right, welcome. Come hold it back. Keep it, because what will happen is if you don't hold the back, you'll kind of kick the head up. Um, all right, remember, place your hand over the keepers from popping, and you just press down. Sometimes you got to use a magnet. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, push down. Take a magnet and grab the keeper. Pull down. Sometimes you got to take a magnet to grab the keepers. Uh, the exhaust valve is a little different than the intake valve, so every now and then it gets to be a little bit tricky. But again, the spring will come out with the uh, retainers. So now we can unscrew. There's the other, uh, right there, uh, keeper. So just want to keep track of those. The new valve spring set, uh, I've got Texas Speed. 
dual springs. They come with keepers, uh, I believe, for the intake side uh, because they use a special sort of uh, con uh, concave titanium retainer. So they take a special type and then the uh, other ones just use the factory keepers. So what I want to show you is the difference in the valve springs. So these are Brian Tooley Racing uh, conical valve springs. And you can see the shape of these are actually conical versus a standard dual valve spring. Um, the dual valve springs are actually more reliable because they have a, sep a second spring inside. So uh, what would happen normally is if you push the limits with a big camshaft, this spring can break and you can drop the valve down into the cylinder and actually beat the piston, knock, uh, knock a hole in the piston, bend the valve, cause a lot of damage. Uh, and in a very expensive engine, you, you having a dual spring just adds a layer of safety there. Uh, so that's why you go with the dual springs. But conical, this is actually a newer style spring, believe it or not. Uh, Comp Cams invented this actually not long ago. And the, the reason you go with conical is more of a higher RPM. So as your valve train uh, increases speed, so higher RPMs, the top end being a very sort of lighter weight uh, tighter wrap spring style uh, increases the reliability on the upper end of your valve train. So that's why you want to go with a conical. So I went with a conical because number one, um, a dual spring on a stock variable valve train cam is just too much. There's too much spring load on this and it would not work reliably um, on a stock cam. Um, but uh, this BTR conical spring still falls uh, within the um, falls within the, the specs of a stock camshaft variable valve train, but actually is better than the Beehive style spring. So that's why I went with these with the stock springs. Um, but we're going to put these in with the new uh, Vengeance Racing Stage Three cam. All right. Um, and that's it as far as removing springs and if you notice um, with the spring gone you can actually pop the valves out so that's the exhaust valve you can see a little bit of carbon build up on the back side totally normal uh, not a big deal but what we're gonna do next is lap the valves and I'll show you how we do that in the next video Okay. Um, Pause the video or stop.